are going to revise together the lesson, the dinner of the line from the book study sync. It's very important to know the title of the unit because this title is going to be an idea in each and every lesson, the power of communication. This idea will appear in the dinner of the line and the refusal as well. It's very important to know that this is a short folk tale where a line moves in and disrupts the other animals' peaceful lives. In case or uh, in case this folk tale is having animals as characters, we call it a fable. So what's a fable? It's a folk tale or it's a short story where all the characters are animals and there is a lesson out to be learned from this story. Now let's open here and go through the story in details. Here we have the first three paragraphs. The first three, sorry, the first three lines, which is the first paragraph, is the exposition of the story where we are introduced to the setting. Where is the setting? The setting is the seven hills and the animals are living peacefully and with no noise, commotion or any issues. What happens? We have a lion moving in and taking over in this place. It's very important to know how the lion thought or believed he was. He believed that he was the smartest, the strongest, and the most beautiful of all animals. Now you're introduced to that. We move into the rising actions. What happened here? We have the line moving in, the place uh, roaring loudly and eating the animals every day. This caused the animals to be scared and to uh, be frightened of the line. Of course, they don't want to be eaten as they want to see their children and their grandchildren go growing up. They started to diminish because they started to feel scared. They weren't eating as before. Now, this might refer to the idea of the psychological effect that the line put on those animals. They, because they started to feel scared and frightened, they started to lose weight. And he wants to eat uh, every day. So what happens here is that the animals decided to have a meeting to find out a solution for that. And we have here another character, which is the weasel, deciding to negotiate with the lion. Remember that the lion would not accept anybody to call him but his lordship. Okay, one more time. He thinks himself the smartest, the strongest, and the most beautiful of all animals. What did the animals decide here? They decided that they bring one animal, plum animal, good animal, as a meal for the lion instead of hunting. Look at how the animals uh, used words to talk to the lion. Your honor, your lordship. Okay? So what happens? The lion agrees that every day he would receive a good meal from the animals instead of going to hunt when it was the time for the hare to be eaten what did he do he decided to come up with a plan in order to get rid of this line and he said if he ate all of us there would be no more food for his lordship. So he would die too. He can't be that ignorant. So now we have the hare figuring out or discovering the ignorance of the lion. By the time he's eating all of us, he won't have any food. Why didn't he think of that? Which means he's not the smartest He's not the strongest and he might be ignorant. He just enjoys threatening others with extreme but 
unlikely measures. The animals, of course, were not convinced and they didn't know what to do. But he was thinking as tomorrow was the day for him to be eaten. And he started to think that he might not be able to see his children again. And then this is when he came up with a plan. It's very important to know the plan. What's the plan? Pay attention, please. He dashed to the river and jumped in. Who's this? This is the hare. Dashed to the river and jumped in. He rolled himself until his whole body, except for his head, was covered with mud. Smelly, disgusting mug. Then, satisfied with the result, he went towards the Lordship's den. And within a hundred feet, he began to run and he started to appear as if he's having difficulty breathing. And he threw himself at his Lord's feet. How dare you present me with a dirty meal, his lordship screamed. Forgive me, that he, that was the way he talked. Forgive me, please, forgive me. Look at the way he used his words. Oh, great, his lordship, who's the greatest, he played on. How the lion viewed himself. He panted. I am not the dinner. Another lion stole the plum and delicious hair. I was bringing you. He was bigger and stronger than you. His yellow mane blew so beautifully in the breeze. Enlarged and furated the lion. I am the greatest. Remember how he thought of himself. How come another animal would steal my meal? I will destroy him. He thinks himself the greatest, the smartest, and the most beautiful of all. What happened? He quickly led the way to the old well. So the hare was able to take the line to the old well. He took your dinner and jumped into the well, he said, pretending to be frightened. And then what happened? His lordship looked into the well. And when anybody looks at the well, he needs to be smart enough to see himself. But because he was blinded by his arrogance, what happened? He saw the reflection of himself. And he saw the reflection of a neat, uh, clean hair. Remember that the hair did not put any mud on his head, only his body. How smart was that hair? I will smash you. I will shatter you. I will crush you because I am the great lion who owns these hills. And that what happened? He just fell into the well and was never seen again. The animals had quite a pleasant party at that evening. Her lived to see his children and grandchildren and grand-grand-grandchildren un until, of course, his grandchildren grew up. So now you need to know that here we have many morals to be learned we have many themes as well so we have the power of words and how we are able to use words in order to reach what we want to reach we have here also the idea of think smarter not harder and the idea of uh, intelligence would overcome uh, strength or power now because of the intelligence of the hair he was able to get rid of the line without doing any effort just by thinking 
smartly and by using his words the right way.